A holoteria consists of watercolour and ink drawings on paper. They are part of a wider work in progress based on Mexican Loteria, highlighting the plight and conservation efforts of the critically endangered Mexican axolotl at Xochimilco in Mexico City. The watercolour paintings depict elements of the ancient wetland and its human and non-human inhabitants. Each picture card has its Xochimilco equivalent, giving the series of works deeper meaning beyond the subject itself. The final outcome is presented as a game with printed cards, boards and information booklet to coincide, raising awareness to the critical and precarious situation of the shrinking wetland ecosystem and current conservation efforts of the wild ajolote. Xochimilco is Mexico City's ancient wetland, home to the Mexican ajolote, Abistoma mexicanum, an otherworldly amphibian with abilities to regrow limbs and produce cancer-fighting cells. Yet this biodiverse ecosystem is under threat amongst a highly complex socio-ecological situation. Xochimilco has become a destination for tourism, soccer fields and home to a large local community. But what threatens the ajolote is not merely a disappearing ecosystem, but the bombardment of change over the past 500 years. In Aztec times of Lake Texacoco, the amphibians were revered to the point of a deity, so common they served as a good so source of protein. But with a boom in the human population and the drying of the lake at Mexico City, the Mexican ajolote numbers severely dropped. Xochimilco is the last remaining area of fertile Chinampas, the floating island farms created by the Aztecs. Traditional wetlands provided opportunities for birds, insects and amphibians to create a flourishing and dynamic interspecies web of beings and doings. But now, however, ajolotes are under threat for a multitude of reasons. Introduced top predator fish species carp and tilapia in the 1980s, agrochemicals and water pollution have led to the loss of habitat. Local farmers' multi-species milpa, sister planting of beans, maize and squash, the organic traditional methods have slowly declined. Rapid urbanisation and need for local housing means more and more of this UNESCO World Heritage Site is lost each year. Therefore, the need to preserve this unique wetland habitat is urgent and integral to the heart of Mexico City's rich history and identity. In recent years, there have been several global interventions in the aim for solo preservation of the Mexican axolotl, which have encouraged ecotourism. Nonetheless, Tourism at Xochimilco celebrates a party culture on trajineras, the large colourful boats that float along the canals, which ultimately disturb local wildlife. However, this tourism is also equally important for the economic independence of the local community. A sensitive eco-tourist approach is growing in popularity and encouragement through a shift in this sense of tourism to a more ecological and non-human nature is a positive sign. Moreover, right now UNAM University conservation biologists led by Luis Zambrano have established collaborations with local traditional organic island farmers the key members of the community 
the Chinamberos. It is this wholehearted, long-term support of farmers and local communities that will sustain any type of conservation effort for ajolotes and the Xochimilco ecosystem as a whole. The scientists from UNAM are working incredibly hard to build relations with the Chinamberos to establish ajolote refugios, areas of irrigation canal, plant filtered and clean water areas to allow more biodiversity, space for the critically endangered ajolotes and multi-species food webs to exist and thrive. By promoting the organic milpa, traditional and biodiversity friendly methods of agriculture, local people become integral to assume the role of guardians of the ecosystem and endangered species. This in turn creates a change in attitude for the farmers as they become increasingly economically secure with increased status for their organic and ajolote friendly produce. It is a two-way socio-ecological system that provides a chance for the longevity of the relationship. Successful and sustainable conservation would be a long-term collaboration between local people and conservation scientists. It would be a deep-rooted relationship built on trust, a platform for socio-ecological engagement, which thoroughly develops strategies and opportunities for the wild and critically endangered Mexican ajolote species to survive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your time.